All right, 6.45 in the morning. Sun's starting to come up. Um, I already had rebuilt the gimbal on this. I haven't flown it with the new gimbal yet rebuilt um, after the last crash that we had. So far, so good. I readjusted everything in uh, Mission Planner and uh, I'm gonna give it another quick flight here because now I gotta do all the trims again. So let's go ahead and do a quick setup. By the way, the reason I still use this little beeper is that um, I got rid of the factory um, um, when the battery goes low and it dies out. I turned it off because most of the time it's not as accurate. It doesn't give you the uh, the full flight time that I really want out of this thing. Um, I've measured a battery after each flight and I still got plenty of battery left um, or enough. So these things tend to like you know over exaggerate the time to land to save the battery you know sometimes it'll even drop out of the sky you know to save a freaking uh, $29 battery it'll crash a expensive quadcopter <laughs> here we go uh, like I was mentioning I don't have the factory battery on here I actually have the um, that $29 battery from Hobby King so I've used it on my other quads and it's been pretty decent so far there we go. Let's get to find that little sweet spot where it doesn't shake anymore. All right. <sighs> Let's turn on the uh, the monitor here. Come on, little buddy. And yeah, let's search. I gotta search each time because I got a different. There we go. Cool. All right. Let's see if we got any satellites yet. We got zero blinks. It's not good. Usually means that the day is really ugly and we have no satellites. There we go. Got a couple of blinks. I forgot how much time this needs, so here we go. It's probably gonna be a little off since I haven't flown in a while. So I gotta readjust my trims. Not bad. Pretty smooth. Wow, not bad at all. Actually, that crash made it fly better. Let me try a satellite lock right here. Let's turn the gimbal out. Alright, right there's recording. Alright, let's take it off satellite lock. And let's adjust the trims now. Alright, it's pulling a little bit to the right too much. Let's manually pull it back. And let's trim it to the right. Three tips. Four. Five. Okay, pull it back. Two more. Pull it back. Now, let's face, let's change direction. Just in case if there's a small breeze. I don't want to trim against the breeze. There you go. I gotta find that sweet spot. I think it might be close. Not bad. Once I'm happy and I land, I'll save the trim just like this. Maybe 
give you a small little breeze. Let's take it a little higher. Right there. Okay, right there should be smooth on its own. Let's do a quick little satellite lock. Yeah, I mean it's a cloudy day, so the satellite lock is not going to be all that pretty. It's going to be fighting a little bit. I really don't like satellite lock on this thing. I really like I like manual so much smoother. There you go. All right, let's cruise around a little bit. There you go. I like a little drift every now and then. I mean, I feel it when this thing's over my head. get my goggles next week so be nice to do some goggle flying oh look how much it moves that tree man that thing really kicks some wind look at that look how much those trees move oh it's a trip oh, those little carbon graphite blades really kick objects and mirrors are closer than they appear uh, right there, I'm on just trim. No satellite lock, nothing. So, that's how you kind of want to have it. So, when there is a little bit of a breeze or something, you're, you're, not, you're not constantly trying to adjust for the breeze. A little drift every now and then is okay, so that's the wind actually just taking it. Like it is there. Alright, based on this, I got one minute on the timer. Just off based on eight minutes. I should have 10 min 9, 10 minutes on this easy. Um, I'm going to run it till like my timer starts beeping. I really can't tell when it's beeping. Because I think this one might be broken. But I'll, uh, I'll take a look at it in a little bit. Should be able to see the... I think I shoved it in deep enough that I can see it from the back. Let's see. No, I can't see it at all yet. I'll go by my 8 minutes and I'll take a look at it later. I hate to like kind of glue it on the outside. Woo, look at that breeze. A lot of dust. I don't want to land it with the gimbal like that, so first thing I'm going to do is turn off the recording. Okay. Okay, then I'm going to face the gimbal straight up. Come on. Get over here. Now this is telling me 8 minutes, I'll check the battery afterwards. Alright, we're good, uh, let me turn off the monitor. Ok, 